Hey, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to historic old Roseville. This is, again, Friday Night Live. This is, of course, 1996, and we're going to continue on with some good music. This is, of course, January, and January's kind of country western month. We've got uh, a return visit from George Bankston. George is going to sing some uh, of Roy Cuff's tunes and some of the early cowboys, the real cowboys. Now, mind you, I don't say that the cowboys today are not real, but from our era, they still had a little range dust on them. George, what are you going to sing? What's your first song going to be for us today? Well, Roy Cuff, he came out with several hits, and one of them is Wabash Cannonball, and that's on all of his albums in sure. later years, and yeah. I think I'll do that first. Okay. And, uh, you know, he always liked the train songs and the gospel songs and yeah. uh, a little bit of everything, and okay. just like I was in that song. Okay. From the great Atlantic Ocean to the white Pacific shore, from between the flowing mountains and self built by the shore, She's mighty tall and handsome and known quite well by all. She's the combination on that Wabash Cannonball. She came down from Birmingham one cold December day. As she rolled into the station, you could hear all the people say, There's a gal from Tennessee, she's long and she's tall. She came down from Birmingham on a Wabash Cannonball. Our eastern states are dandy, all the people say. From New York to St. Louis and Chicago by the way. From the hills of Minnesota where the rifflin' waters fall. No changes can be taken on that Wabash Cannonball. Here's to Daddy Claxton, may his name forever stand. Always be remembered through the courts of Alabama. When your earthly race is over and a court can drown him fall, we'll carry him home to victory on that Wabash cannonball. Listen to the jingle, the rumble, and a roar. As she glides along the wood line to the hills and by the shore. Hear the mighty rush out the engine, hear that lonesome hobo fall. She's gliding to the jungle on that Wabash Cannonball. Yes, I remember that. <laughs> and I remember listening to Roy Acuff sing that. It's quite a, oh, quite the thing. Of course, those days we didn't have you know, television or things no. of that nature, but you Got right close down, if I remember right, the radio put you bent your ear down a lot of times to be able to hear the hear the station. And uh, that was a big thing. You had two or three of them. My radio you had two or three stations drifting in, and you had to listen right hard to hear Roy sing that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. I well, remember when he came out with that. Of course, there's been a lot of people have recorded it since that day. Uh, Willie Nelson, I believe, has done that one. And, yeah. uh, and you hear it sung, uh, what's that, Austin Limits well, or Austin something. City Limits, yeah. I imagine. Is and you heard uh, Pins and Needles. I don't have that, and I wish I could, but they don't produce that uh, particular album anymore. I see. Uh, but I have heard it sung. And, and uh, like the Great Speckled Bird was his first number, and it's still going... Strong, the yeah. song of, of the of the century, I guess you might say it's be used as a gospel song, be used as a song. And uh, Roy Acuff was he? I heard him on television. <laughs> he said, "Well, he come down uh, to I think it was Knoxville and saying, who's that guy singing that great speckled bird?" Yeah. <laughs> he said, "Oh, uh, he'll be on today." He said, "I want to talk to him." He said, "Well, he wasn't after Roy Acuff. Said he was after the great speckled bird." that I was the only one that done it. A minister yeah. wrote that song. And and so he went to, uh, uh, he recorded that and every station seemed to have it on and I knew all about the great speckled bird and, and 
a lot of young people said, well, they hadn't heard it, but said they sure did like it uh, and when, I, when I performed it. And that was one of them. And another one was a wreck on the highway that was a huge, big hit. And, yeah, that, and that's... Night Train to Memphis. And night Train to Memphis, Lake. yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And, uh, and he's done a lot of songs. He was the first one to ever do them. Well, I'm, I remember getting the first round hole guitar, one of those little three-quarter size, in a songbook. In the songbook had a lot of Roy Acuff's tunes in it. Yeah. Now I mean, when that that was overwhelming. Of course, you're trying to you know trying to get the C D chord and yeah. the G chord and the D seventh, and here you had uh, staring you face this artist with this, with all these uh, country songs, and you have to get in there and learn the country songs and strum and and uh, sing along with it. Yeah. Of course, that uh, more or less was the bait. I took the bait and learned how to play the guitar a bit and learn how to sing some of his songs. What are you going to sing for us now, George? Well, go back to about 1925. Now, a lot of people have recorded this since then, and it was, I think, two million copies was sold back then, and it's a real, it's a real good tune, and Eddie Arnold done it, and Johnny Cash done it, uh, I think Hank Snow done it, I don't know how many others, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. but it was such a, it's a call the prisoners song, and dedicated to all the prisoners and ex-prisoners, and... Oh, I wish I had someone to love me And someone to call me their own and someone to live with me always For I'm tired of living alone Oh, I wish I had the wings of an angel Over these prison walls that I'd fly And I'd fly to the urns of my darling and there I'd be willing to die Oh, please meet me tonight in the moonlight Oh, please meet me tonight there alone I have a sad story to tell you It's a story that's never been told I'll be carried tomorrow to the new door Leaving my poor darling alone The cold prison bars all around me And my head's on a pillow stone I have a great ship that's on the ocean Its walls of silver and gold before my darling would suffer That ship would be anchored so I wish I had the wings of an angel Over these prison walls that I'd fly And I'd fly to the arms of my darling And there I'd be willing Yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that's been around a while, but they still do it. My God, you're refreshing my memory here, George, on these old-time songs. You don't get a chance much to hear them anymore. Just a few stations will come up and play them. Yeah, well, I, uh, I've done a variety of songs, and, and I didn't know none of those real old folk songs. Yeah. And the best thing I could do was get some of the old country ones. Yeah. And I kind of started doing that, and it's like Clint Black said, you have to kind of please what people want. Yeah, okay, and, you understand uh, but, that. But I had to substitute it. I don't know a lot of these old folk songs that goes back. Yeah. I just never did seem to, when I was growing up, I just seemed to get uh, the Western, like uh, when I was a kid, Gene Autry was, you know, yeah. the Red River Valley. And, and some of these other well, ones. Well, Bobby Thompson, I imagine, was oh, probably a little bit later, but there was, uh, what was it? In my time, when I first started to do in country western, it was Lula Bell and Scotty, was a duo. 
And let's see, uh, they had one fella, I think it was, uh, did a voice for this William S. Hart in the movies. They had one of the cowboy singers that sung for him. You could hear the change in the voice, but well, you know, you country song's a country song. Yeah. There was, of course, later on, there was Eddie Arnold and Red Foley, and then, of course, uh, a whole progression of country western people. Yeah, but I kind of old latched on to the things that I began with, and Acuff was, was there. He was a great influence. Sure was. Jimmy Dean. Oh, yeah, all of them. Yeah. I uh, enjoyed uh, all of them through the years. Most of them I liked. Some yeah. of them I like better than others, but some of them, most of them I like. Well, yeah, that, that pretty much holds true on, on a lot of the music. But I kind of try to oh, search and find some of the older artists and, and find someone that still does the older artists. And that's the time, that's a hard thing. Uh, a lot of the young people have heard about these artists, but they've never really heard their songs or heard the artist. George, uh, what do you have that you'd like to play for us now? What's what's in your bag of cowboy? I've, I, I've got plenty lately that I love in it was was in one of Roy Acuff's movies. Yeah, and that's I a good really, song. And uh, Gene Autry and Tex Ritter and, yeah. and all of them recorded it. And uh, and Roy Rogers and probably I don't know how many. And it's still a good song. Yeah. How about you? you lately that I loved you Could I tell you once again somehow Have I told you how the nights are long when you're not with me Well darling I'm telling you now My world with you is out of memory of you I'm no good Without you anyhow Have I told you lately That I love you Well darling I'm telling you now Have I told you lately That I love you When the stars are shining in the sky have I told you how the nights are long when you're not with me? Well, darling, I'm telling you now. Have I told you lately when I'm sleeping? Every dream I dream of you somehow. Have I told you that I adore you? Well, darling, I'm telling you. I would without a memory of you. I'm no good without you anyhow. Have I told you lately that I love you? Well, darling, I'm telling you now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I remember singing that, George. Do you? Yeah, I remember just all, let's see, after one birthday, I had the opportunity to receive one of those big arch-top guitars. Mm -hmm. And, uh, boy, I was, you know, in seventh heaven, I had a little amplifier and a good chord to it. I could sit there and entertain myself by the by the hour. Not that it ever, the career it never went any place with the guitar, but at least I kept me entertained. Yeah. Yeah, the... Um that song, though, was uh, uh, done, I think, by Lou Bell and Scotty. Um, and I think I heard Tex Reader said he thought he was the first one to record it more than the rest of them because yeah. he called up about it after the movie. And he said, is that open to anybody to record? And they said, oh, sure. And he said he believed he recorded it before a lot of the other ones did. And yeah. I heard him on a talk show before his death, you know. And, yeah. and uh, I don't know, but I know a lot of them recorded it, and I really fell in love with it. In that movie, I think it was called High Neighbor. And Roy Acuff was a good actor. I mean, he made, I think, four or five movies. Yeah. And, uh, and they all, I liked all of them that he made. 
Well, that was a, in the early days you were influenced by, oh, let's see, the, the hero was generally six foot five or something on that order. You were influenced by the cowboy singer. And uh, a lot of times they weren't the same person. And uh, you were, if you're into music, you followed all the, uh, all the musicians along the line, all the early day folk. I can remember doing that and, and following them as they, my heroes and the whole bit. I was always trying to sound like them and, and, and strum like them. Now, George, you, I bet you've got a, a, what, a repertoire of what? A what? Several hundred, oh, a, a collection of songs. I don't know. I used that $20 word, and I should know better than that. You and I are in a generation to use collection. A collection of, of early day uh, Roy E. Cuff material that probably the, no one else has. Uh, has. Yeah, well, uh, like down in the valley, it's been recorded by a lot of people. Oh, yeah. Sons of the Pioneers and, and Gene Autry and, uh, and golly, I don't know. Some of them people have called it Birmingham Jail. and. And uh, I used to hear those songs back when I was a kid, and, yeah. and Gene Autry put it out, and he used to come out with the Red River Valley, and, <laughs> and I always in, I enjoyed the Western more than I did the folk yeah. type. Uh, when he, I was a little kid, but I, I, I liked the music, and my sisters all uh, sung and played the organ. Oh, I see. Well, my sister used to play piano, and we did uh, we'd get together, and play a little guitar, a little piano, and sing the country western. But in those days, it uh, wasn't so much. Uh, oh, you thought you were, you know, right in style with everybody else. And we uh, we got through life and went our own separate ways. But now, our, uh, do you have another A cuff tune for us? Yeah. What about Oh and Lonely? That was one of his big hits. And okay. And lonely, sad and blue. Thinking only of little you. Always trying to keep from crying. I'm low and lonely over you. Do you miss me? Well, say you do. Do you miss me? Tell me true. Will you yearn, dear? Will you return? Lonely, I'm weary too. You're the only true love I knew. Don't be gone long, you know it's wrong, dear. I'm low and lonely over you. Low and lonely, sad and blue. Thinking only of the Always trying to keep from crying. Low and lonely over you. Okay. Uh, little peppy, huh? That's a little pep, yeah. You put a little uh, yeah. vim and vigor into there. Yeah, well, he always sung up with the up tempo. Yeah. You know, like he liked the uh, uh, songs. Now, when when he'd done Blue Eyes Crying and Ringing, he'd done it. Uh, with up tempo, and I heard him back in what was it the 80s, I think, and he says, "Well, let's see, who's that fella that done one of my songs?" Yeah. <laughs> he said, "Oh yeah, Willie Nelson." He says, and he yeah. just went, really made a big hit out of that, and and uh, so uh, I got the uh, impression that you know he was glad somebody was uh, recording some of his yeah. songs. And, yeah, well, it, yeah. And, uh, I can understand why. But I really. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, the songs that he'd done, regardless of what he'd done. And like he was the first one to ever seen Detour, I believe, nationwide. I mean, it may have yeah. done, and that became uh, Okie Paul Westmoreland's one that wrote that yeah. song. Now, you know, that that's Ella Louise's husband. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and they bought a place here. I guess they made enough money off of it. Uh, they bought a car. They call it Detour Inn is what they call it. Yeah. And it was there for a number of years, and, uh, Is that and then, a, then she made, I think, for Capitol Records, she recorded, yeah. and uh, that was... And I think she'd probably be on with us maybe next spring. I think she spends her winters in Arizona. 
Does you? Oh, yeah. I've been seeing her in a... Last time I saw her was over in the um, Country Club Center. Yeah. It was putting on a show there. Yeah. And that's been the last time I've talked to her. Well, I had the opportunity to speak with her this last summer. Uh -huh. We'll see. We'll uh -huh. see. Maybe we'll get the two of you together. Yeah. I imagine that would be quite a show, wouldn't it? Yeah. What are you going to sing for us now? Well, you like to hear that another train song? Sure, let's go for it. This is Train Town. Take that night train to Memphis. Take that night train to Memphis. I'm longing to meet you. I'll be right there to meet you. I'll be right there to meet you. Don't turn down my invitation. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. We'll be shouting hallelujah all the way, all the day. And there'll be a jubilee word down in Memphis, Tennessee. And we'll be shouting hallelujah. Take the night train to Memphis, take the night train to Memphis. Drive at the station. Now they arrive at 1057 and it'll leave at 11. Then we'll be shouting hallelujah. Hallelujah, oh hallelujah, we'll be shouting hallelujah all the way, all day, and there'll be a jubilee down in Memphis, Tennessee, and we'll be shouting hallelujah. Take the night train to Memphis, take that night train to Memphis. Now tell that engineer to keep that throttle open Keep the engine stack of smoke And I'm not kidding, I'm not joking Soon I'll be with my gal that I'm hoping Hallelujah, oh hallelujah You'll be shouting hallelujah all the way, all day And there'll be a jubilee down in Memphis, Tennessee And we'll be shouting hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah, we'll be shouting hallelujah all the way, all day. And there'll be a jubilee down in Memphis, Tennessee, and we'll be shouting hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, that's a classic. They yes. still put it out. Yeah. Down on his latest album, yeah. that's... Well, I imagine he's gone to probably switched over to CDs by now, don't you? They have, they still have them on, and put them on uh, CDs, tape, yeah. Tapes, uh, they have some, they have them by him on CDs. Yeah. And uh, they run out of them for Christmas. They had his name up there, but they sold out of them. And they said, yeah. well, there's, there's no use in December trying to order anymore because <laughs> he wouldn't get them. Yeah. And, but they, they get them in, uh, and, and I was... Well, let me ask you this. Which one is your favorite song of A Cup's material? Well, uh, I always liked that Wabash Cannonball and the Great Speckled Bird. And, yeah. and, uh, and he was the first one to ever do I Saw the Light. And I really loved that song the first time he ever done it. And of course, that's Hank Williams Sr. wrote that song. Oh, I see. Uh, I guess he was about 15 years old. And he got it to Roy A Cup some way. And he, I remember him singing it. And boy, I fell in love with it. I said, boy, that is a good song. <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to go for 20 or 60 years. Yeah. But uh, uh, I, and people still uh, are singing it. You can get the tapes for it. And uh, if you want to sing along with it on, on the few recorders, you know. And, yeah. and uh, I don't think it's going to end now after well, probably not. I think it's here. Probably, years. probably a success and going to be here to stay. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think yeah. so. It, um, you know, it's so many types of songs that that he done from love songs to train songs. He done a lot of yeah. train songs. Like now, that one I couldn't do because it uh, he he went up so high that the piano didn't have it, and, yeah. and that was Fireball Mill. I liked the song, but. Uh, I don't care what I've done, I couldn't. Uh, couldn't Not even you've standing out of the box, so you couldn't, couldn't get up there. Uh, you Not know. quite that. Yeah. I was even my tenor back in those days, and but I couldn't get up where he got. Yeah. Uh, but they are ways of 
of kind of balancing yeah. uh, sometimes for the where they go up high, you don't have to go this other ways, but I, I wanted to do it hitting that high note, and most of them, most of them that had the high notes, because I used to be a tenor, and, uh, and uh, that's, a lot of people heard me singing, and they said, you know who that is? And they said, I would have a tape somewhere, you know, and they said, no, I don't know who that is. Said, that's George. He said, oh, that's not him. Can't be him. Yeah. He don't sound like that. <laughs> But that was back when later I went to going medium and low and yeah. and uh, but back then you went high and it was just the style. But nowadays it's they seem to go kind of in the medium range and mellow more than you hear the real uh, high songs. Well, George, play something more for us. What What would you like to hear now? The, oh, let's the, see. The, uh, do you want to do the bird? The bird? Do you want to do the bird? Do you want to do the bird? Uh, that, that great speckled bird is a song that I guess you wonder where the title comes from. Yeah, I do. Yeah, go. Just tell the Well, first. it's in Jeremiah of the Old Testament, 12 9, I believe it is. And that's the only place that I know of and know. And somebody yeah. wrote a song about that, and I bet you then it says, the speckled bird are despised by other birds, and uh, and that's how and that, that person that put that song together, boy, but she didn't think it was going to be around for sixty years. Yeah, I don't. Uh, and, you never uh, know about those uh, things. Well, I don't guess. I just he just sung it in church, and then he gave it to Roy Acuff, and, and they got it. What a beautiful thought I am. Concern in the great speck of earth. Remember, name is recorded on the pages of God's holy word. With all the other birds flock against her, she is so despised by the squad. And the great speck of bird is the Bible Representing the great church God I'm glad I've learned of her meekness And I'm glad my name is in her book For I want to be one never fearing the wings of the great church of God. When he come up descending from heaven, as he wrote in his word, we'll be joyfully carried to meet him, and we'll meet our dear Lord in the sky. She's spreading her wings for a journey. And she's going to take my advice For the great speckled bird is a Bible Representing the great church of God Okay. That's, yeah. That's well, the reason that's uh, hung around is due to that Bible book. Uh-huh. That's. That's why that's been around. Uh, what are you going to sing for us now? Why don't we go a little later in years? And <laughs> later in years? Later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. First thing I remember knowing was the lonesome whistle blowing And a young one dreaming up the ride On a freight train leaving town Not knowing where I'm bound no one stare me right, but Mama tried. One and only rebel child, from family meek and mild, my Mama seemed to know what stood in store. Despite all my Sunday learning, the way I up on turning, till Mama couldn't know me anymore. I turned 21 in prison to a life without parole, the one 
dare me right, but Mama tried. Mama tried to raise me better, but her beauty and I denied. That leaves only me to blame, cause Mama died. Dear old daddy, rest his soul, left my mama heavy low. She tried so very hard to fill his shoes. Working hours without rest, wanted me to have the best. No one to stare me right, but mama tried. I turned 21 and prison, doing life without parole. No one to stare me right, but mama tried. Mama tried to raise me better, but her feet and I denied. That leaves only me to blame, cause Mama tried. Okay. Now, I heard that, let's see, I guess about three, four weeks before Christmas, I was up at my usual hour, about, oh, about 3.30 a.m. in the morning, and I believe the artist was Merle Haggard. That's him. <laughs> and I thought, hey, this is, you know, this is a, a tad different. But then again, at those hours, sometimes you hear some pretty good country western music. I don't know who, besides myself, is awake, but there must be a few people. Yeah, there's, um, oh, they still play them, and it's, um, it's a good song. Yeah. And, uh, I, I like because, well, he, he said, Mama tried. Yeah, that's a good story. I like a song that has a good story in it, whether it's put it sad or happy or whatever. Yeah. I, I like to look at the lyrics and see what they say. And what, if I like the story, uh, yeah. if the well, melody is right, uh, that and I think that one was put together. In fact, Merle Harry put all of his good together. Yeah, uh, he can put us a, uh, a song and make it sound good. <laughs> Even uh, uh, the song that I, I threw away the rose. Now that has a is a drinking pipe things, but uh, but they tried and and uh, but uh, I I like that one that that he done. Yeah. yeah. Well, that that was kind of a shock to me because for the most part, is what I hear early in the morning is, is uh, yuppie western and some of the current. Uh, you know, things well that's they call it country western but from my early beginnings and so forth it isn't but maybe the young people think so so what you know whatever what do you got for us now well we're back on the highway okay yeah who was it mother who was it fell by the way when whiskey and blood run together, did you hear anyone pray? I didn't hear nobody pray, dear brother, I didn't hear nobody pray. I heard the crash on the highway, but I didn't hear nobody pray. When I heard the crash on the highway, I knew what it was from the start. I went to the scene of destruction And a picture was stamped in my heart That was whiskey and blood all together Mixed with glad where they lay They laid their hand in destruction But I didn't hear nobody pray I wish I could change the sad story That I am now telling you there is no way I can change it Someone else's life is now through Their soul's been called by the master They was killed on a crash on the way I heard the groaning of the dying But I didn't hear nobody pray I didn't hear nobody pray, dear brother I didn't hear nobody pray I heard the crash on the highway, but I didn't hear nobody pray. Well, that's got a message to it, too. Yes, it does. 
I bet you read those words more than once, huh? Oh, yeah. I um, heard it. That was one of his big hits. Yeah. And uh, there's a Christian group's going to put that on the come out this year. I had a uh, Christian group where they uh, want to dedicate it to all the people who've lost their loved ones for someone that's drunk. And, yeah. and uh, that can be sung as any type of a song. And I imagine a police sees all that all the time. Um, yeah. An interesting culture, all right. Yeah. What do you have for us now? Well, uh, I think I'll do that song that Roy Acuff liked so much, and that Hank Williams wrote was "I Saw the Light." Oh, okay. I like the end it with with that uh, song. And I wondered so lamely, slight feel this thing. I wouldn't let my dear Savior in Then Jesus came like a stranger in the night Praise the Lord, I saw the light I saw the light, I saw the light No more in darkness, no more of night Now I'm so happy, no sorrows inside Praise the Lord, I saw the light I was a fool to wander astray Straight is the gate and narrow is the lead. Now I have paid the wrong for the right Praise the Lord, I saw the light I saw the light, I saw the light darkness no more of night now i'm so happy no sorrows inside praise the lord i saw the light i was a fool to wander astray straight is the deep and narrow is the way then like the blind man it god gave back his sight praise the lord i saw the light I saw the light, I saw the light No more in darkness, no more of night Now I'm so happy, no sorrows inside Praise the Lord, I saw the light I saw the light, I saw the light No more in darkness, no more of night now I'm so happy, no sorrows inside. Praise the Lord, I saw the light. Well, that was quite a tribute this evening to Roy Acuff, and a number of Roy Acuffs, too. Yeah, they had a, a network about Roy Acuff, too, and they sung the, some of the songs I've done tonight in his gospel songs, why he, why, which he loved, and and it was a great tribute to Roy Acuff. Him and Hank Williams, they recorded one another's songs. I really enjoyed uh, yeah. doing their songs. I know that you do. <laughs> uh, you, you can tell when an artist, you know, when you like yourself's out here, when he enjoys his music, I believe it. Uh, Oh, in the future, when we do some more of these early Western singers. We'll, yeah, I've uh, <laughs> some cowboy. I didn't, I was going to do a cowboy one tonight, but I run out of time. Oh, uh, did you? Yeah, I was, I was going to do the cowboy's dream, but uh, time gets away. Next yeah. time we get it. Well, next we'll time next, we'll. Two next time. Huh? Well, next time we'll, uh, we'll get with it, get right to it. Did you ever do any uh, of the Eddie Dean songs in the early days? Uh, yeah, I guess I have. I can't remember them right now. Yeah. But we still, we've still got to go back and do some Bobby Thompson work. That, I think, was later, about 1948, 49, 50, and through there. We'll have to come forward with the old-time artist. You know, that's a, that's a strange thing. I say 19... 48 and don't think too much of it and then 1950 and I have to sit back and remember hey 
this 1995. 1995, and think back, George, do you realize how many years ago that was? That's a lot of them. Uh, which uh, of the artists besides uh, Acuff do you do? You do your uh, well. Have you got a little something short you could sing for us that you enjoy? Uh, how much time we got? About three minutes. Got about two minutes. Two minutes, yeah. Uh, Give us a little shout, sir. Goodbye, little darling. We're parting. Parting don't always mean goodbye For I'm going away We may meet someday Goodbye, little darling, goodbye Goodbye, little darling, I'll miss you Just like the star that misses the sky But you'll always be in my memory Goodbye, little darling, goodbye. Goodbye, little darling, I'm sorry. Sorry I ever made you cry. But I'm going away, we may meet someday. Goodbye, little darling, goodbye. That was Gene Autry. <laughs> okay, okay, good, good. Yeah, we've yeah. got... Well, I want to thank everybody for watching. I want to thank Sharon and Randy for being my guests tonight. Right. And next time we see you, we'll All right, have next some more classics. And um, no telling what they'll be. I, I, I didn't do all the songs I <laughs> had wrote down. Well, yeah, well, we'll get to another segment of it. We'll just slowly bring it forward. Like I say, we'll look back and look at the early day Western artists. And let the other folks uh, go. go with today's. Go with today's artists. Well, George, we do appreciate you. Thank you very much. You brought two great guests with you. Thank Channel 8 for permitting us. Oh, well, sure, always. And all the camera people and all the producers and yeah. who just kind of just a here, uh, relaxed here in the kind of in the living room. Yeah. We look at all kinds of music. Tonight we've had an opportunity to look at uh, and hear a number of Roy Acuff's tunes. That's a little bit all right, George. Okay. Thank you all. One of all. Well, thank you very much. And hope you enjoyed the program and I uh, hope you stay tuned to Channel 8. Don't turn your bell out, please.